Hey there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interaction with iSpring Suite. Interactions are a great way to create deeply interactive online content for your e-learning courses without having to know any programming. All interactions are published to HTML5 format, which looks great on a desktop or laptop computer, tablet or smartphone. Let's get started. Let's get started by opening iSpring Suite. Then head on down to Interactions. Now choose Create. You can choose from 14 different interaction templates to present information, like steps, a guided image, a hotspot, and much more. Let's use the accordion template. Here we go. Now we can go ahead and start entering our information. You can change the title right up here, then put some text right down here. If you head to insert, you can add media content. Let's add a picture. Looks good. Don't forget, you can insert a bunch of other cool media content like video, audio, or characters, backgrounds, and objects from the iSpring content library. You also have the option to enable an intro slide, which is separate from the template slides, and add new panels with the Add Panel button. When you're done, you'll have a nice fluid series of panels that make it easy for your learners to absorb new information. You can fine-tune the properties and colors of your interaction up here. Let's take a look at properties. You can enable or disable the title, choose a text animation, and choose whether or not your navigation buttons will be visible. You can choose the size of your interaction up here. You can also access the color settings right here and create your own custom presets. To save your settings, just apply and close. Okay, let's go ahead and publish this interaction. You can save it directly to your computer in HTML5 format, upload to iSpring Space, which is an online space for teamwork and collaboration on courses, to iSpring Learn LMS, or create a package for uploading to another LMS using one of the supported LMS standards like SCORM or XAPI. Today I'm going to publish directly to iSpring Space. I'll name my interaction and choose what project I'd like to upload it to. Now select Publish. Once the upload is complete, select Manage Content to be automatically redirected to your iSpring Space account and view your course. Now you can share a link with stakeholders so they can review your content and give feedback. Let's quickly hop back into your project and look at how to publish to your computer. Make sure your interaction is named properly and select where you would like to save it to your computer. Then go ahead and publish. This will save your interaction directly to the selected folder. And that's how to present training content in a compelling way using an interactive template. Get started today.